happy year anniversary since your amazing book came out that I have here. <laughs> it is a year. That's right. Thank you. Right. Um, obviously, we're in this pandemic. It's horrible. Um, it's causing a lot of stir craziness. It's causing a lot of anxiety, not just for people's health, but for their financial standing. There's um, what resources or support people had before, like babysitters or grandparents or whatever that is out the door. Um, and it's hard. It's been very hard. And so talk about like being dysregulated. And so you were talking about kids feeling what adults are feeling. Do you have any recommendations or tips for how parents can figure out how to regulate or what to do to help? Uh, you know, I, I think I mentioned to you that, that uh, from Mundo organization uh, conducted this survey of parents and we're just now working on writing a final report that's gonna come out, I think, in the next uh, few weeks. And the title of the report, we're playing, still playing with titles, but the title that appealed to me was Staying at Home with Our Sons, um, Taking Full Advantage of This Pandemic Moment to, to uh, Facilitate Our Sons' Emotional Resilience. I think that, that it's true that all of us are facing uncommon stresses now. You know, this existential threat that COVID represents yes. seeps into all of our minds, you know, a, a barrage, the daily barrage of news, the creeping, you know, rise and fatalities all around us, um, so forth and so on. Uh, one of the pieces I read this morning was about how everyone's having weird dreams these days. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, lots of bug dreams. One of the I had snake. I mean, not a bug, but a big snake. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but all of the different sort of fears and the ways that uh, the fears are sort of manifesting, you know, in our dreams. But but I think we're carrying them. That's affecting our sons too. Right. Um, and the, you know, boys are feeling the unsettledness. I was on a Zoom uh, uh, conference call conference with about 17 senior boys in a high school emotional literacy program last week. And what, what struck me, you know, the whole point of that emotional literacy program is to normalize boys being able to talk about their feelings with each other. That's who they most want to talk to. Parents, for sure, but, you know, other guys that are in the trenches with me that are living the same kinds of stresses and challenges and opportunities, you know, that's, that's really who I think is going to best understand me mm -hmm. in some ways. And so on this, on this zoom call, I was inviting, I gave each boy five minutes to talk about whatever they needed to in this moment. And the, the anger, at their lives being disrupted, the losses that they've experienced. You know, one boy had spent six months uh, 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 cast as the lead in the, the full spring musical, Aww. and the musical didn't happen. Yeah, that's it was called off the day before. Um, you know, his big shining moment after after four years of being an understudy in various various theatrical productions. You know, this was his time. Um, Guys that are captains of their lacrosse team, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, guys that are still looking to be recruited to play at college level, people that have been recruited and don't know if the spring's going to happen, or I'm sorry, if the start of the semester in the in the, in the summer is going to happen. So lots and lots of disappointment and loss that they legitimately got to be angry about. Um, you know, boys that had to express loneliness, um, missing each other, you know, in a, in, a, in a peer culture where you don't really show those feelings much. Right. But we had one boy say, I love you guys, you know, and, and I miss you. Uh, I start crying. <laughs> uh, and, 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 you know, <clears throat> I can give permission as an adult, kind of creating the space. I can't, I can't tell them how to be themselves, but what is so encouraging to me is if we make the space, they show up. Yeah, I love that. The human, the human um, natures uh, that, that you know, are so powerful and so dependable, if we make the space, I think we'll find our sons will show up. So with respect to 
families staying at home with their sons. It's actually amazing. <laughs> what I would say is the chance is that, that for many boys, it's less stressful than being at school. Yeah, my sons do seem happier. <laughs> and I, I'm hearing that across the board, by the way. I'm hearing that generally. They're not facing the same academic pressures. They're not facing the same peer, peer pressures. There's a, there's a safety to it. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're, they're perhaps more open, uh, you know, less tense, less, less hardened, less steeled, um, less, you know, in a defensive posture. And um, just use those tools I recommend, you know, the tools of listening and, and in particular special time um, to offer a space where your sons feel like they have your undivided attention that there's not a right answer or a wrong answer. They get to be themselves. They have you and that you're willing to go to wherever they want to go with you. And like a divining rod, they're going to go where they need to go. You know, the basic theory behind play therapy, for example, is that the kinds of themes that emerge in the play will be the themes that the child needs to work out. Right. I think the same is true in the special time context generally. And just trust that whether it's playing a video game or having a pillow fight or drawing or telling stories, whatever it might be, that your son is doing the work he needs to do to process the stresses of the moment. I don't think it takes more than that. I don't think you have to tell boys things about, you know. What's the, happening, right. There's no, right. It's not an educational moment. It's just no. more. It's a strengthening of the relationship moment is how I think of it. Say that one more time. It's a strengthening of the relationship moment. That's yeah. the opportunity here. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I you love talking to you. Talking to you. Yeah, likewise, likewise. I'm such a fan, but you know that. Yeah, well, you're I, awesome. I enjoyed our partnership.